Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, with some quick thoughts on Game 3 of the NBA Finals, which is set to go off in about five hours. Last-minute video. Now, um, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Um, hopefully, you've seen my earlier video. If you're a subscriber, you know that the Heat have been good to me. Uh, the Heat delivered against the Chicago Bulls. They close out that series in five games, um, as uh, my video suggested they might. Um, but as much as I like the Heat, as much as I like LeBron James, who I consider to be the best player in the NBA, I think the public narrative is off on this series. I like the Dallas Mavericks to comfortably cover the two-point spread in Game 3 of uh, the NBA Finals. Uh, let me also add, if you're a straddle better, betting large amounts and you want a hedge, you actually have pretty good odds on Miami winning by 1-2 to two on a margin of victory prop. You get 10-1. to one. Miami winning uh, 3-6. to six. You'll actually get 11-2 to two there. And Miami winning... 7 to 9, you'll get 10 to 1 odds on those margin of victory props. I think if you take those three on the other side of the bet, you should be covered. Um, I simply do not see this game as being that close. Uh, I believe if Miami were to win, it would be a narrow victory. They would win by 9 or less. Right? Let me just point out that you have um, a history between these two teams. During the regular season, they played in Dallas. Dallas won that game comfortably. Let me point out that Dallas right now, in a tight series, isn't even playing their game because, of course, they've had an inordinate number of turnovers. They've also had some players be missing in action. Pedro Stojakovic just hasn't gotten it done the first two games. Jason Kidd hasn't been his usual self. I believe that Kidd, Berea, Stojakovic um, all show up in Game 3. They're different players at home. I think that uh, Miami's defense is being overstated on ABC. Um, you know, starter Mike Bibby, do you consider him to be an above-average defender? I would say he's not. I would say it's even questionable whether Bibby is an average defender, right? I would say that Mike Miller isn't a great defender. James Jones isn't a great defender. Uh, Chris Bosh, you saw how it worked out when Chris Bosh had to stick Dirk Nowitzki at the end of Game 2. I don't think he's a gifted defender. I believe that your scheme could only take you so far. Miami has three very good defenders, LeBron, Dwayne Wade, Joel Anthony. The problem is when Anthony's on the court, regular season, he averaged less than 2.9 points per game. If he's the best you can do against Dirk Nowitzki, you're going to have problems in an offensive shootout when some of your defensive players cannot match the offensive intensity. Let me point out, too, that Mike Miller scored even less points per game uh, during the regular season than Joel Anthony. Miami is a new team put together. Most of the players are new. Mike Miller, first year in Miami. Mike Bibby, first year in Miami. LeBron James, first year in Miami. Chris Bosh, first year in Miami. And if you look at the ball distribution during the regular season, you're going to see that, quite frankly, the three-point shooters have not been an active part of Miami's attack. James Jones, uh, Miller, uh, just haven't gotten significant playing time. Neither of them average 10 points a game. Mike Bibby, not a big scorer during the regular season. Now you're asking them to step up against a team that probably is going to put up at least 95 points in Dallas, their home court the Dallas Mavericks. I think when the bullets start flying, Miami's going to find that it just doesn't have the experience to match the offensive intensity. I believe LeBron and Dwayne Wade already are playing 
about as well as they can. Look at Dwayne Wade's numbers in Game 2. I would not be surprised if that's the best game Dwayne Wade has this entire Finals. I don't expect more from Dwayne Wade than he delivered in Game 2 and, of course, Miami lost Game 2. Let me also point out, too, that even with Dallas underachieving, Dallas was ahead in the third quarter of Game 1 by 7 or 8 points. Dallas was ahead in the second quarter of Game 2. I think matchup-wise, this is a very tough matchup for the Miami Heat. I like Dallas to cover the two-point spread in Game 3 of the NBA Finals. Let me just say that um, if you're going to straddle, take Miami 1-2, to 3-6, to six, and 7-9. to nine. I do not see any way, short of an injury or a double technical where a guy gets kicked out of the game, I simply don't see any way that Miami can win this game by more than nine points. Quite frankly, I think the most likely outcome is that Dallas handles business covers the two-point spread. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. All I ask is win, lose, or draw. Stop by after the uh, ball game and let us know your thoughts. I like Dallas in Game 3. Thanks for watching.